I disagree with the recon video. Okay, this is really important. And I think this is super big brain. I'm about to teach you how the world works. I know this is going to blow your freaking mind, all right? So there are two kinds of people in the world, okay? Two kind of people, all right? So we have Sigma, and then we have Mr. Beta Male. Beta! Because I have a funny feeling I know what that guy is going to say who disagreed with the recon video. I have a feeling I know what he's going to say. All right. So use the amazing powers of hindsight to try and guess what he's going to say. So guy on the left, this guy on the left, this is going to be Theory Beta Wiki Reader. So this is the, this is the guy in the comment section. So I read the comments on my second channel. All right. I read a lot of them. All right. More than you would even like to believe. Okay. And one reoccurring meme I get on my second channel is someone who says, I've read the wiki, I've read the tooltips, and you were wrong, feedback. Wrong! Cry! Cry! You're wrong! Oh, you're so wrong! And then, then, we have a second kind of guy. And I'll admit, there are not many of these people in the comment section, okay? But we have the IRL tested Sigma. Now, this guy hasn't just read the wiki. Oh, he's done that. He hasn't just read the tooltips. He's done that. But you know what else he's done as well? Do you know what else he's done? He's also loaded up Hoi 4 and he's tested out his ideas using blind trials, trying with and without to actually show the difference. Multiple tests in a row to actually find out if his little theory in his head is even true. And this, this right now, what you're looking at right now, defines my comment section right now, defines it. So I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. My recon video. Everyone was said, so recon companies are good. And I say they suck. Now these guys have read the theory. They're like, well, if you're on the attack and you've got more reconnaissance, that means your tactics will be less likely to be countered. Therefore, you'll do more damage because you'll get better tactics. In theory. In theory. But with the great power of testing the real life scenarios, we can go into the actual game and find out if that theory is actually true blowing your mind away. Get this. When we tested recon in game, it had the result that it wasn't very effective on the offensive and it was moderately effective on the defensive. Unfortunately, the wiki may be correct, but unfortunately in a real worth scenario, real world scenario, unfortunately it did not make much difference. And there we go. That's how we've come to that conclusion. Now is that guy still in the chat, the guy who said recon. You didn't really contribute all the buffs recon gives to division like transversing through jungles and hills. Did you read? Did you read the guide that that guy created? Did you read it, Papa? I'll, I'll meet you in the middle here. If your argument is, I like reconnaissance because it gives a speed buff over certain terrain types. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's one of the good benefits of recon, particularly motorized recon, which had the best speed buffs overall. Hell yeah, I'll give you that, man. You can have that. Here's my hand saying you can have that one. It's yours. But if you're here telling me about the how the Ricky weeds reconnaissance, how it meant to work, unfortunately, the real world testing does not prove otherwise. I am open-minded, by the way, to some open-ended testing that you guys may have done. But remember, let's be very careful here. We have to be very, very careful. One, we have to make sure we're doing a fair test. So all other variables need to be out of the way. So more likely you have to disable the AI. You have to make sure everything has the same research available, etc., etc. And every test you do needs to follow those set variables. You have to make a save game. So therefore, you can recreate those variables over and over again. And then you need a blind. You need to do it without those variables applying. So a situation, let's say, without reconnaissance full stop and see what the testing results is. And then this is the hardest part. And this is the part that denies me from testing fr too frequently. That's why I let you guys do it. It will make me guides and send me emails. You have to repeat the testing over and over and over and over again. And then the more data that you collect, the more of a concrete conclusion you may have. So you have to do five tests with lots of reconnaissance and five tests with no reconnaissance because then you can look at the data, compare the two, put them into nice visible forms and actually see if the reconnaissance gave you a more of an advantage than others. Because sometimes there'll be anomalies to the data. You can't just do one test and be like, look, Dave, I did it. The one test resulted in a better result, so therefore I was right. You didn't have a blind. You didn't repeat the testing. You didn't get some, one of your buddies to review the testing. At the end of the day, we are succumb to many biases, okay? And one of the biases is just we want to be right. We want to be right. So sometimes we will load the testing to favor us. But that's not a fair test. At the end of the day, we want the fairest possible scientific test actually possible to complete the most concrete conclusion. So back to my comment section. You're wrong. Okay, we're done.